All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants with your week five offensive line report. A victory O-line report. Those are the best O-line reports. And the the offensive line reports have been a joy this year because of the Giants pass protection. They've been legitimately good. And today we're going to look at a couple of their veteran additions in Jermaine Elmanor, uh and, and John Runyon Jr. But something that hasn't been a joy consistently this year is the Giants run game. And this week with Tyrone Tracy, it was. So I want to break that down to start this. Like and subscribe because we're having fun. Because the Giants are winning and they're playing good football and they got a damn good offensive line. So let's talk about it. Let's go through uh, the run plays. We're going to go... We're going to go through seven run plays. And this is something, if you've listened to our podcast, if you've watched a couple of pass or all on reports, the Giants should not run zone. They should not be a zone running team. You have to run a song, right? But zone would be looking at this front right here, right? And you'd put Theo Johnson and Andrew Thomas. They would uh, step left into this player for this linebacker. Runyon and, and JMS would step uh, left here looking uh, for this player. And then Greg Van Roten would have to get across this guy's face. And then Jermaine Elmanor would hinge back and block the backside. The Giants just haven't been good at doing that. What the Giants should run is duo, which is a man scheme where you are creating as many double teams as possible across the front. Right? And look at that. That's what we do, right? We have a double team here, a double team here. And then we got one-on-one -on, -one on the edges with Theo Johnson and Jermaine uh, Elmanor. And we're double teaming into these linebackers, right? We're not looking to get off quickly. When these linebackers get in our area, that is when we get off. We make them declare, and it gives makes it a, a lot clearer of a read for our back. Right, and these are into light boxes. Giants ran into light boxes a lot in this game. But they're like having the safety roll down into this. So, like, let's watch it. Let's watch Andrew Thomas and John Runyon. You know? This D lineman... Leonard Williams actually does a good job is when you're getting doubled is to basically put a knee down and sink. Don't let them move you, right? But because neither one of them move off of it until this linebacker declares, well, guess what? That leaves this open, that leaves this open gap right here. Let's watch right here. These two double teaming into this linebacker. Linebacker declares, Greg Van, Ro Vo uh, Van Roten comes off. We've got the edges being blocked well. Tyrone Tracy presses this, right? Presses this, keeps this linebacker here, cut off of it, gets tripped up, but a nice six-yard run. That's good. Let's run the same play. This time we're going to get 27 yards out of it, right? Now we're going to get to see Tyrone Tracy, you know, show off some of the, you know, the speed and explosion, you know, the explosion he has. Doesn't it look the same? Right? Double team. Double team. One-on-ones on the edges. You have Wandell Robinson who's going to come in and fit in here. So let's watch. Let's watch the Greg Van Roten and Jermaine uh, Illuminor uh, double team. Right? Hip to hip. And Jermaine actually gets off a little early. Right? This isn't perfect timing. But this block is handled. Now let's watch Runyon and JMS. This is the this is the killer one. Good movement by JMS. And you know what that that drive that JMS allows right here? It allows Tracy to influence this linebacker more, right? It doesn't uh, force Tracy to cut here. It allows Tracy to press more vertical. Which pulls this linebacker into this gap. And bam, this is what we have. Because Andrew Thomas is doing a good job out here. And and Runyon gives a piece to help, you know, get this uh, player's pad level up. JMS drives him. We press vertically. Thomas is doing an awesome job out here. Hyatt's doing a good enough job. Don't look back, just keep blocking. And then Tyrone Tracy gets to uh, show off who he is, right? Gets to just subtly break down this safety, right? This little, duh, go, go, speed, speed, speed. Outrun to uh, Reek Wound. The guy runs a 4 2 40. Awesome stuff. Next play, gap, right? Crunch, a, a combination of wham and trap for an 11 yard run. This is one of my favorite. I, I almost view this as a trick play in the run game, and this is why. 
Watch, see John Runyon and Greg Van Roten, the guards. See how they step right? So linebackers are a lot of times, their keys are the guards. Their keys are the guards. So if the guards move this way, well, that's where the run play is going. And you see the linebackers, especially with this motion. Now, they don't flow heavy. They actually do a pretty good job of staying somewhat disciplined. But we move into the spot. So what we do is these blocks influence the linebackers. And then we allow uh, JMS and, and Jermaine uh, Illuminor to get up to the second level and seal these guys off. Because if you just say you're just running zone, that's a hard block to make, man. That's a hard block to get over here and seal this player off. It's basically impossible in the NFL. But when we have that influence, we he does it for us. JMS is able to seal it off. Awesome stuff, right? And then you have uh, John Runyon picks up this block. Greg Van Roten picks up the end. Illuminor's picking up linebacker. JMS is picking up linebacker. And then on the front side... You're going to have uh, these two switch, right? So Chris Manhurts is going to block down. Jermaine, uh, Andrew Thomas is going to block out. Bam. We've got ourselves some fucking room to run through, right? Tracy does a good job getting up on this. Ends up tripping. People were tripping a lot on Andrew Thomas's feet this week. But keep moving. Like, the gap is so open. That despite the fact of him tripping, he gets 11 yards on this play. He regains balance too, but like he, there was just no one there to stop him. So like awesome stuff. Next play, power, 25 yards. Now you're going to see John Runyon pull. If you guys watch the offensive line report and we talked about the bad part of the run game, you know, pulling is, is important. Now, you, in reality, you don't need a great pull. You just need to get to your landmarks. So... Let's, we're going to start with the pull of John Runyon. This is not a great pull. Right? There's not much speed and explosion and widening out this linebacker. But he just gets to his landmark. Right? We get to the inside shoulder. That's what our landmark is. Get to the inside shoulder. And then we have a crease here. Just, just get to your spot. Because he gets popped back, right? He doesn't get any movement. That linebacker brings pop. And and Tyrone Tracy now has a gap. Now let's watch this double team right here. We're stepping together. We're blocking down into this linebacker. We are getting movement, baby. We are getting push. Push. Widening that gap. Awesome shit, man. Awesome stuff right there. Also, an adjustment that the Giants made is instead of having John Runyon come and pull all the way across to take the on this end, and this end is going to be trained to squeeze this down and beat him inside, well, let's just have Theo Johnson block this one-on-one -on -one instead of trying to have him seal off the linebacker. Very good job by Theo Johnson, right? Theo Johnson's blocking has been very impressive this year. JMS blocks down. Thomas blocks the backside. And we got ourselves a crease. Good block by Isaiah Hodgins to get down in here, right? It takes all 11. It takes all 11. Wandale Robinson getting down here and sealing this block off. 25 yards. And then Tyrone Tracy gets to do his thing, right? He gets to press, bounce, 25-yard run. That's what we want. Here, third and one, right? You get the back split out like this. You're looking like QB sneak. Perfect time to run pin and pull. I wish the Giants would run this on regular downs more often because they've had a lot of success in 2022 doing it. Maybe with Tyrone Tracy a back with a little more speed, they will. All right, so you have everybody squeezing down. Let's get a perfect time. We're going to have Darius Slayton pinned down. We're going to pull Andrew Tom or pull uh, John Runyon. Cut Bellinger. We got ourselves a 13-yard run on third and one. All right, it's just... It's literally in the name, pin. All right, so if you have someone inside, you pin down with Andrew Thomas. You have Darius Slayton pin down this linebacker. You have Bellinger, who's the lead blocker on this. He cuts this linebacker. John Runyon pulls, picks up this corner, and we're off to the races.
I mean, I don't need to explain that much more. I mean, it's pretty simple. And then Tyrone Tracy, again, never. You have to have speed, right? A slower back gets caught by this linebacker. And then, whoop! 13 yard run. And then we'll finish off with a five yard run and a seven yard run, a duo, right? Do what works. And double team, double team. We've got this double team here. We're getting movement. Yeah, you don't. They don't even do the best job in the world. That's why I like it, is they don't even do the best job in the world. But because this linebacker gets so aggressive, because he has this safety filling in this gap, like this is not. This is not a. This is not well blocked. But this is why I like this run scheme. You like you don't need great blocking, right? Like Greg Van Roten, and like gets peeled off this block. You you're not blocking this linebacker. You're facing backwards, but because you it's essentially had everyone accounted for. Thomas does a good job on it. You get yourself a, a five yard run. Now let's get a seven yard run doing it. This is block better. Thomas and Runyon. Thomas with some urgency. Let's get some movement on this player. Let's get into this linebacker. Let's allow our, our running back to press more, ver uh, press, uh, press the A gap further. JMS, right? Fire off the ball. Bam. Low pad level. Keep your feet churning. Again, get movement. Allow this this running back to press this more, uh, press this gap more, force this linebacker here, cut off of it. Jermaine Elliman, uh, Luminor is doing an awesome job. Our wide receiver is not able to pin this off, but we still get ourselves a seven yard run. That's beautiful, beautiful running football. A chill is in the air. How about that? League is falling to the ground. And it's not just because of the damn hurricane that I'm dealing with. I got my windows boarded up right now. It's because football is here and it's every single week. And that's what it's all that's what fall's all about. That's what hurricane season's all about. You can make each weekend even more exciting by getting to the action with our partners at DraftKings, the number one place to bet on touchdowns. Right now, all new customers who bet just five dollars will instantly get two hundred dollars in bonus bets when you use code WORLD. Like, the world that is Florida is getting hit by a hurricane. Uh, so, you know, stay in on the action and use your $200 in bonus bets to bet anytime touchdowns on DraftKings. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code WORLD and bet just $5 on any wager and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code WORLD, only a DraftKings Sportsbook. You'll be glad you did. Next, I want to talk about Jermaine uh, Illuminor. If it wasn't for Andrew Thomas, I probably would do a segment on him every week because he's been a true godsend to this team. I mean, when has been the last time the Giants had a right tackle who can just flat out play, right? Not this ass-kicking dominant player, but is a good player, right? Top 10 player on the roster has been a line for me. He hasn't given up a sack in five games. He's one of only 10 offensive tackles who have gotten at least 50% of their team's snaps. Uh, to do that, he's 12th of 50 offensive tackles and pass blocking efficiency, which, you know, uh, is basically the pressures allowed per snap. And again, he hasn't allowed a sack in that. Like, he's been a fun, fun watch, right? He's just like, you trust him. Like, the Giants can trust their right tackle again. So let's get into it. First play, right? We're going to go through pass protection, obviously. We got this wide rusher. I mean, this is a great play. We've got like we gotta get we gotta go right. This player is looking to bend that corner, right? He's get player the end gets good get off. Watch the feet one, two, three. No panic, right? We don't we don't take an extra step and, and allow him to beat us inside. We slow some of that some of that power down. Excuse me. Keep your feet moving. We've got great hand placement on where we want him. We extend. Great job. 
Not so much on Greg Van Roten. Next play. Simple but good, man. Get into our set. We don't overset. Player wants to work inside. Right? He wants defensive end wants to work speed to power. So we land our punch. We take our right hand. Replace it. Get good hand placement. Power down with our feet. Balls out. Next play. Just patience, right? There's so much patience in what he does. Okay, okay, we got to get out here, right? We got to get out here, but we don't want to get beat inside. So, defensive end throws a little hezzy move. Right, this little instant. We don't we don't jump inside to stop it because we're worried about the speed. We just put up. We just take our left foot. It's hard to see it with the back in the way. And place it down. We just want to keep our angle. We want to keep our angle. Defensive end tries to work speed to power. Again, we replace our hands. We're strong. We anchor down. Darius Slayton, big play. Next play. Again, Ma Mafe gets injured on this play. But again, I just want to show off the patience. We get into our set. He works that inside move. Watch the left foot. Again, we don't overreact. We just protect ourselves inside. We just protect ourselves inside. And I know he gets hurt on this play, but it wouldn't have made a difference. Because Mafe's thinking, oh, he's. I'm a wide rusher. He's working to protect that corner. I've got the angle now. I've got the angle. Nope. Good patience. Next year, you'll see, this is sometimes what uh, Jermaine is willing to sacrifice. Is that he is willing to sacrifice to just wash a guy around the corner. Which, we are washing him around the corner at 10, 11 yards. You take that most of the time. It can lead to giving up a sack, but we take that most of the time. But, like, see, we get into our set quick. One, two, three. Mafe throws that hesitation move. We protect ourselves inside. But he is willing to just protect that inside. And then open up the hips. And wash crown. So now we're... Now we got to really go, right? We're, this is not a position we want to be in. We can live with this. But this is not a position of power. Where we're running. We've got our hands reached out. We're just looking to wash them around. And a quick, you know... Mafe is a good player. Right, he was. I you know, had like he was leading the league in pressures outside of Aiden Hutchinson at one point, but s still, that's not a perfect play. You don't. You're not putting yourself in a position of power. Here, we're gonna wash. Uh, you know, the end around at nine yards. All right, opening up that hip. Now, this is a quicker pass, or supposed to be a quicker pass, so you live with it. We stay with it, keep our feet moving. Ends up being a sack. Here's the flea flicker. I mean, just bl blocking. We're we're straight up blocking Leo uh, Leonard John uh, Leonard Johnson Leonard Williams. Leonard Johnson. Who was that? Like some UDFA this year. Ah. Uh, so we set. Leonard Williams works that rip move that he's so good at. We stay with it. He spins back inside. We mirror with him. And at that point, the ball's out. I guess it's hard to hold these blocks this long on a flea flicker. I hate flea flickers. I don't care if it was a built-in screen. I think that is the, actually the way to run the flea flicker is to turn it into a screen play. You've seen a couple coaches do that, but I still hate them. And then just being smart, right? Not leaving your right guard on an island, protecting yourself against stunts. Because right? they're showing blitz. And our tight end is leaving, right? Our tight end is leaving. He's not staying to protect. All 
Right? They're blitzing. They're blitzing both their DBs, but we're responsible for the inside man. So this guy rushes. We stay with it. We stay with it. We see this D lineman drops out. We pass that off to Greg Van Roten with our eyes on this blitzer. With our eyes on this blitzer. The ball gets out quick anyways because we're blitzing off the other side. But just patient. No panic. No, like I think that's been an underrated part of the Giants' pass protection. People are just like, oh, they just got good players. John Runyon, right? He blocks guys. Jermaine Illuminor, he blocks guys. Greg Van Roten, he's the worst of the bunch, but he's all right. JMS has improved. And, and those, are, those are true. But a big part that has been forgotten is they're not making mental mistakes in pass protection, right? Evan Neal made a lot of mental mistakes last year. Josh Azudu made mental mistakes. Marcus McKeithen made mental mistakes. Mark Wawinski did not work well with the right tackle picking up stunts. This team made a ton of mental mistakes. You know, even JMS messed up a couple times, but it was rare, but they're just not making mental mistakes. Here you're going to see on another stunt pickup, I just want a true stunt get thrown at them. I mean, beautiful. That's right. They're lining up with the four eye and the wide nine. We know that some type of stunt is probably coming. But we have a wide nine, so we have to get out there, right? But we don't overset. We don't leave our guy on an island. We see this inside move. We power down with it. Pass it off into our guard. Peel off. Balls out. Great job. So I've been very, very pleased with Jermaine. Uh, he has been a godsend to this New York Giants team. All right, we'll finish off with John Runyon. Uh, this is the first time, uh, segment that he's gotten as an individual this year in week five. Um, and not because he's been bad. It's just been a very simple game. Like he does his job, right? Doesn't get a ton of one-on-one -on -one opportunities. He picks up stunts. He knows where to go. He helps when he needs the double team. And then run game, he's like a, a net neutral type of player. But like the... I felt like we can't go through week five without giving a guy his segment, right? A $10 million uh, per year. But this is kind of what he is, right? It's going to be short. But right now he's 15th of 57 guards. And, you know, that pass blocking efficiency stat that I referenced earlier. And this is what you're getting, right? First play. We set with, uh, with this player. We get our hands on him. Good job. We replace our hands, right? Keep that right hand free. We move our feet. We mirror with the rusher. Ball gets out. Again, not these like dominant ass kicking reps, but good. Solid, solid football. Next play, right? Check the blitz. Help right. right? We're, we're, he's responsible for, for zero. Check it. He jump. He pops out. Quickly get down. Quickly get down and help with this blitz. And look, everything's picked up, right? Where, where I talked about earlier is that they're not making mental mistakes. So check. We help JMS. JMS is on here. We have at the back here. Greg Van Roten here. I mean, like, awesome job. You know, they send five. We've got it covered. Consistent. Here, uh, you know, a couple snaps versus a guy like Leonard Williams. Actually, not not this play. Here, just a great stunt pickup with Andrew Thomas. Next couple plays are Leonard Williams. He's in our inside presence, so we step right. Correct? We step right. He moves back left. We keep our feet moving with him. We see that it's a stunt. We pass it off to Thomas. We make sure Thomas has it, right? And works around. We're ready. We're ready to go. And then here with a couple of one-on-ones with Leonard Williams. Again, I'm not expecting him to win this battle consistently. Just not get... Don't have quick initial losses that totally ruin the play. We place our hands. Bam. Right? Nice wide base. This is the position we want to be in. But Leonard Williams is strong. He plays with leverage. He works those hands off of you, right? He breaks those hands off of you. Quick, replace. A 
Again, Leonard Williams breaks those hands off of you. Don't want that, right? You don't want that. But quickly replace. Bam. Place those hands in you. Yeah, not a great play, but a good enough play. And here, you'll see him you know, have a loss versus Leonard Williams. Not a quick, quick loss, but a loss nonetheless. All right, we set. We, Leonard Williams shows some type of inside move. We like we don't want to get beat in, beat on that. So we step down, give him the half man advantage. And because of that, we're not able to land our punch. Leonard Williams lands that punch. We're tr we work to replace our hands. But Leonard Williams has con basic control of our shoulder pads. He works that swim. But doesn't matter, deep ball. So just, again, it's been such a joy to watch this offensive line all year. Where I can come after a game that they won, feel really good about it. And I didn't even do an Andrew Thomas segment. Do you know how hard it was to not do an Andrew Thomas segment? So, hope you guys enjoyed this. We will see you on the next one. Until then, let's go Big Blue.